father, husband, and respected pilot is dead after a deadly plane crash in Falcon this past weekend. Today, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office identified the victim as 56-year-old Carl Benda. KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live near the Meadow Lake Airport in the area where his plane went down. Annabelle, what are friends and family saying tonight? Carl Binda's family says that nearly all of his free time was spent flying. Flying was his passion. So today they're remembering that passion and they're remembering the man he was. He was an amazing human being and the world's going to be uh, a less happy, less adventurous, less caring place without him here. Kimberly and Johnny Fryman are closely connected to Carl Binda. I met Carl because we we're both uh, uh, students at Colorado Aerotech in Broomfield and um, September of 1989. Johnny and Carl met while getting their licenses to be aviation mechanics. Our friendship and his love for aviation would have started started then, really. And soon after, Carl's love started for Johnny's sister, Shelly, who would later become his wife. He was the best man at his wedding and really, really close. That closeness made the news of what happened Saturday a shock. It's just one of those things you, uh, you're not you're not sure you, you believe it until you get confirmation. El Paso County Sheriff's deputies say his plane went down near the Meadow Lake Airport in Falcon. When they arrived on the scene, they found a small single engine aircraft destroyed and 56 year old Carl Benda dead. Because it wasn't that long ago we were, we were talking. But now Kimberly and Johnny can only talk about Carl's memory. Our family loved him deeply. And once he was your friend, he was a fierce friend. And he was a man of incredible integrity. Just a, a good friend, father, and um, he just, he meant a lot to a lot of people. The National Transportation Safety Board is leading this investigation to try and figure out what led up to that plane crash. Reporting live in Falcon, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. Annabelle, thank you.